G'day, Michael here. I've been getting some funny results out of this Cocoon Create printer, which has been generally a really good printer since I've done the mod with a heated bed. I'm printing ABS at the moment. There's no way you would print ABS with the way the machine was born, because it didn't have a heated bed. Um, but I've been getting some funny random ripples. They're not regular... They don't go with the Z-axis thread. I'm not quite sure what happened here, whether there was a um, feed problem, but don't be distracted by that. I'm not looking at that detail. Um, just the funny banding that is irregular. It's not, not exactly regular with a thread or anything like that. Now, the one on the left is substantially different. Um, what this video is about is I made up a bearing to put on the far side of the x-axis it's designed as like a cantilever arrangement to stiffen that up and what I was aiming to do was put a frame top and bottom but on this one here I've just dropped the shaft in that bush and it's just touching the bench nothing more than that just touching the bench and the top of the shaft is just sticking out in midair um, so I basically got this thing just sitting here on the bench with that shaft um, making some contact with the bench and it seems to make the world a difference now that print we're heavily zoomed in that's a 40 millimeter fan that is um, 0.3 millimeter layer height this one on the right is a was a 0.2 millimeter layer height it's a loose piece focus but you can see there's funny banding in there and it's not regular it's not with the z-axis thread it looks almost regular, but it's not. So there's, there's some funny thing going on. And now that I've seen how the shaft like that has made the world a difference, well, I'll obviously put some more bushing and so forth to make a firmer frame, but I was quite surprised by that because it seemed to be both in the, the y-axis motion and the, the x-axis motion. Yeah, so it's a bit of a cute one. Um, yeah, if you've got any um, input on that, if you've had something similar happen to one of your printers, let me know in the comments below. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.